Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verses are coming from Ephesians chapter six, verses 11 through 12. They read as follows. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. So unfortunately, people are kind of mean. Small quips, hurtful words, harsh actions and language and just facial expressions and body language. All of it, honestly, it can just be kind of mean. And personally, if I'm around meanness too much, it just starts to kind of bring me down. It just kind of bogs down my spirit where I just kind of where I just kind of feel very down, very just kind of ugh, very blah. I don't feel as light and happy and as energetic and as hopeful. The thing is, though, we have to deal with mean people because we live in this world. And whether we care to remember it or not, we too have been mean to other people at some point, whether we remember or not, or even meant to or not, we too have caused other people harm by just plain and simple being mean. I was thinking about it one day and I believe the Lord showed me that honestly, when people are mean, just sort of consistently really mean people, not kind of once or twice, but people who are just kind of consistently mean, those mean people honestly are just kind of insecure people. They use that meanness as sort of a front or protection. They don't feel very sure of themselves or confident or capable in a way or in an area or with a task or just, you know, in general with themselves. So they project this mean or tough exterior. Maybe they don't realize it's mean. Maybe they just think it's sort of tough or confident, this exterior, which honestly just kind of, you know, is their way of sort of self-protecting themselves. Unfortunately, though, they are in the process harming a lot of people. But then if you're those other people, what do we do with that? Though it doesn't excuse it, we do remember in those times, in those situations with those people that we are not fighting against flesh and blood. We are not fighting those people who are being mean and nasty to us. There is a principality. There is an evil authority. There is a spirit working on behalf of the devil, working on behalf of the enemy through that person because Yes, they haven't healed from that hurt. They've left that door open through that person to get at us. And until that person surrenders that hurt, surrenders that pain, surrenders themselves to the Lord for him to heal them, it's very likely that they will continue to act in that way because that door is open. They don't sort of know another way. But as our verse notes today, we can put on the whole armor of God so that we can stand against the wiles of the devil, which we read in verses after this one, that that armor of God is truth, righteousness, faith, peace, salvation, and the word of God. Notice that it doesn't say we put on the armor of meanness. No, that is not God's armor. That's the devil's armor. So when we are putting on meanness to fight other meanness, we are just sort of honestly fighting fire with fire, which just makes bigger fires. Now we fight that fire with water. We fight with the tactics and the ways of the Lord. Friends, people can say all sorts of crazy things about you, but you fight it with truth. You know the truth. You don't have to worry about those lies. You are the righteousness of God in Christ, meaning if God is for you, who can be against you? Another part of his armor. If we keep our minds on him, scripture says, he will keep us in perfect peace. Another way we fight this meanness, we fight those attacks of the enemy. He has given each of us a measure of faith to believe the Lord to work this thing out. If we know the Lord, then we are under his covering, his helmet of salvation. So we are protected from the devil. And if we know the word of God, we speak that word and we defeat the enemy. We overcome him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony, by the word of the God, by the word of the Lord. Friends, don't you dare let those mean people get at you. You forgive them. You put on God's armor to protect yourself, to not internalize that nonsense, to overcome evil with good. But when that stuff comes, no, you remember that you are God's child. You have his armor on you. You are protected and you just not give that nonsense, give that evilness, give that meanness any more of your time. Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, that you have given us the armor of God to fight against the wiles of the enemy, to fight against how he tries to come and attack us, Lord. And your weapons, God, are not like the world's weapons, God. Your weapons are spiritual weapons, Lord, because the fight honestly starts in the spirit. Help us to remember, God, the salvation, the word of God, peace, 
faith, Lord, righteousness and truth. God, help us to remember, Lord, to put on our whole armor, God, when we are just facing kind of meanness or nastiness or attacks of the enemy, that we can walk, Lord, with your armor and stand strong and fight and defeat by your grace, by your power, God, by your Holy Spirit, the enemy in Jesus' name. And Lord, we do pray for this people, God, who come against people just kind of in mean ways consistently. Would you please heal their hearts, God? Would you please show them another way, God? Would you please show them, Lord, that you love them, Lord, and that if they would just come to you, you would heal them, God, and they wouldn't have to act that way any longer. God, we love you and we bless you, God, in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like and comment on this video. I would appreciate it and I would love to have you guys. Guys, have a great day. God loves you so much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. Always, always have a great day and I'll see you next time.